Ah, yes. Whoops. <laughs> oh, I know why. Hang on. Aha, there we go. Sorry, guys. Boy, what a mess this is. Hello, welcome to the stream. I'm Len. I'm wearing my drug rug. It's awesome. Feels good. Feels great. I've got a good story for you, but first, let's figure out what today's story is. Hey, Kepper. 18 months. That's awesome. Fantastic. All right, so, um, ugh, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, man. There we go. I think that's what I want to do. There we go. Let me see. Hopefully that'll work. This is the story um, that I'm going to be drawing today. It's, uh, whatever happened, why aren't we excited about technology are we just bored with it I don't know let's figure it out let's draw because uh, I started a little bit late and I have a funny story about that so let's get let's get cracking uh, so uh, the reason I was late is because I I stupidly uh, just dumb in a moment of weakness, fell for a dumb scam, and I had to correct it. Uh, now, I don't know if it's been corrected 100%. Um, we'll see. But boy, that was dumb. So, um, ooh, hang on a second. Uh, that's not right. Let's do this. God. <laughs> Everything's going wrong today. Anyway. Oh, that doesn't look right. I'm eyeballing everything. Um, doesn't look right either. Good God. There we go. Eh, eh, that's all right. All right, we'll do that. Um, <laughs> so uh, what ended up happening was uh, <laughs> I, I saw a, I saw an email come through and um, I was like, oh, you could win like this free Yeti cooler. And it was what was really weird is it came from what looked like um, uh, uh, Dick Sporting Goods. <laughs> um, so I'm like, I trusted it, right? And uh, so I clicked on it. I took this dumb survey and then um, and then all of a sudden my card was charged <laughs> for like 90 bucks. Um, so it was dumb. I, I feel really stupid. Um, <sighs> it was so dumb. Moment of weakness. You know, I think, oh, get something for free, right? Why not? And then, uh, and then of course... <laughs> I get taken in by the greed. I'm so stupid. So I had to sort of figure that out. Um, eh, that was upsetting. So the, the long and the short of it is like, wow, just just be careful. <laughs> I was, I was like, oh man, I I really really was not smart about that. All right, so I'm going to do some, I'm going to try to do this quickly. Um, let me see here. Yeah, that was really dumb, guys. <laughs> that was really stupid. Yeah, it was dumb, Kepper. It was really dumb. Um... I, uh, <laughs> I, it's just, you know, I, I was, I, I was thinking, oh, I want the Yeti cooler, right? I, I was like, the Yeti cooler is great. What is going on? Everything is breaking on me. Oh, what is happening? All right, there we go. I don't know what was happening there. Anyhow, um, 
Yeah, it was so dumb. Um. <laughs> Thank you. There's Mr. Twitch. He makes me feel a little bit better. Um. Yeah, I don't know. You know, like usually I don't pick. Usually I don't do that kind of stuff. Like I don't. Um. Like I don't pay attention. <laughs> to those dumb emails but this time for whatever reason I did just because it was like it was like something I trusted Dick Sporting Goods which you know I don't really oh I, you know I feel so dumb when that stuff happens anyway let's see what else I got going on here So, technology, right? Woohoo, technology. Has, I don't know, who's here? I don't even know if anybody's here. <laughs> I know Kepper's here. Has anybody ever been taken by stupid scams like that? Oh, God, that's so dumb. So this is this is a uh, take on um, a cartoon I did many many years ago. Um, <laughs> um, very similar, very very similar take. You'll see what I mean when I draw it. tells me to go to their official website to yeah you know you're right Kepper I know I know I know I know give me another bit of technology that I could use here so I have the iPhone drones oculus Maybe just an iPad. So I have a little bit of art to do here. But at least I have... Hey, what's up, 9 of 12? 9 of 12, you just missed my story about being scammed. Of my own volition, I... You know, that was dumb. Hey, Wabbit Magic, how you doing? So, um, yeah, I was I was just telling um, Kepper that I was sc <laughs> stupidly scammed, um, and that's why I was starting a little bit late today. Let me let me before before I get started on telling that story again. <laughs> I just, this is a good time to remind me, uh, everybody, that I have a Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Len. Um, and uh, if you join the Patreon, you get access to the exclusive DTNS channel where you can see the stuff that I'm drawing 
um, as it's happening live. Uh, um, check it out. It's pretty cool. So yeah, so I'll tell the story again because a couple people missed it. So, um, ooh, this will be fun. Um, so the reason I was late was because uh, I got an email that's, that, that came from a respected company, uh, Dick's Sporting Goods. I'm like, oh, and they're like, hey, you've won um, you've won an opportunity to get a Yeti cooler. And I'm like, oh, cool. Just take this short survey. So I went on there, I took it, and I was looking and they had all these things on there. It's like, oh man, I get something for free. It's awesome. Like there are all these comments and everything saying, oh yeah, it's, it's free. I can't believe how easy it was. I should have known. That was, that should have been like the, the th <laughs> that should have been the, um, uh, the red flag, right? That came up that, you know, was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably shouldn't be doing that. Anyhow, um, the, uh, I, so I take this dumb survey and then they're like, Hey, um, Hey, thank you. Thank you for the gift sub. Um, I take the dumb survey and, uh, <laughs> um, it says, Oh, okay. So you're, you're just going to have to pay for the shipping for this Yeti cooler, which you won for taking the survey. I'm like, all right, that's, that's cool. I'm, I'm with you. So, um, so I go ahead and put my information in and then, um, what ends up happening is I see the payment for the shipping come through. And then immediately after that, I see like, oh, uh, here's another payment of like almost $90. <laughs> and I'm like, what the heck? And I knew instantly, I'm like, oh, I think I've been had. Like, you know, I think it's just, you know, that's just like a little, that's the little scam, right? So I had to go through PayPal and I had to say, hey, uh, PayPal, help me, help me. And there, I couldn't do anything with it because it was a temporary debit, right? So they couldn't help me. So, uh, so I was, so, so I looked at like who the company is. So I started looking the company up and I'm like, who is who is this, right? So I found the business online. They're apparently based in Delaware, which when I called them, uh, it was obvious they weren't in Delaware. I mean, <laughs> it was, you know, it was a call center, probably somewhere in like in, in India or something like that. It wasn't, you know, um, the lady was, was kind enough, I guess, right? Like she was, she was nice enough, but you know, it's like, oh, she couldn't help me because uh, it was user user initiated, and I'm like, yeah, no, it's, it's, that's stupid. But this is, you guys are, this is a great little scam you're running here, right? So, so she like puts me on hold again, and then comes back and says, well, this is what I can do, I can give you uh, fifty percent off the charge because <laughs> that was oh that was what i forgot to tell you it's because the um it was a raffle and i had to pay 90 dollars to get into the raffle and i'm like what what the, who the hell does that right that doesn't make any sense at all so um <laughs> so i'm like okay that's a great scam that's wonderful thank you uh, so she, um, she's like, I'm going to put you on another hold. Uh, and I'm like, okay, whatever. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, they're probably, they're probably doing something, just keeping me online or something to get more information for, I don't know. I'm thinking this is, this is like worst case scenario, right? This is bad. So, um, eventually she ends up coming back on and saying that they've refunded me the whole amount. Now, whether or not that happens or not, I guess, is going to be, you know, I guess I have to kind of see whether or not that is, that is going to happen. Um, 
But what? I just felt so dumb. You know, like, I don't even want a Yeti cooler. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's, I didn't even want the thing. I'm just like, the, the lure of getting something for free was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, I'll, I'll do it. I get it for free. I, I don't have to do anything. It really kind of uh, um, uh, talked to the very base level of my humanity, right? It's like, I don't have to do anything. I get something for free. Uh, you know, I, you know, it's, it's nice that occasionally I, you know, maybe this is like, you know, uh, too good to be true. And I should know if something is way too good to be true. It usually is. It's usually not true. So. Sigh. So I had to kind of deal with that. Luckily, it didn't take all afternoon. It was still like, you know, it was very upsetting. Anyhow. So now I'm like jamming through this really quick to kind of, to kind of get this, get this done here. Oops. But anyhow, we'll see. We'll see if I can do this, guys. Make lemons out of lemonade. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. It's just, you know, when it happens to me, Wabbit Magic, I just feel like, oh, I'm smarter than this, right? Uh, so dumb. I don't even want the stupid cooler. That's the thing. It's like, I'm like, eh, I don't really want it, but hey, I don't have to really do much, you know? <laughs> I guess that's, I guess that's right. I guess that's right, KT Data. I need to get a free producer. Thank you. Uh, take the little bits where I can get it, right? <sighs> so upsetting. Anyway, uh, I haven't even talked about my drug rug that I'm wearing. You like my drug rug? <laughs> uh, hey, I'm, you know, by the way, KJ, I'm, I'm still trying. To, I don't know if we're going to be able to pull off a show this month. I'm so busy. Um, just, I feel like I'm running from pillar to post. I feel like I'm, you know, getting scammed, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> um in any event uh i'll try to do the best i can i uh it's it's i don't I, i'm running out of hope that we're going to be able to do a show though um just because uh i gotta you know i gotta find people and stuff so just haven't done it Oh man. Yeah. You're right, you're right. I should probably be more vigilant. So anyway, um just so you guys know what this story is. Um the story is about not being excited about technology any longer. Like, so, um, yeah, why are we not excited about technology? What's the deal? So I did this cartoon many, many years ago. It's similar to this. Um, Uh, it was actually, it was a cartoon I drew. It was a cover letter that I drew when I was looking for a job. Uh, this was straight out of college. And, um, I wrote the cover letter in the body copy of the, of the, um, comic that I wrote. 
It was like a cartoon about uh, me. Hey, thank you for that, by the way. Thank you for the Count Chocula sticker. Um, the cartoon was me looking for a job. I, I kind of talked about my my background and stuff, and then and then I put in the cartoon. I I put the letter into the mail because this is how you looked for jobs back then, right? You put the letter in the mail, uh, and then the very last frame is me <laughs> as a skeleton sitting there waiting for it. That never nothing ever showed up. Um, so it was kind of funny. <laughs> it's, it was really kind of dark this um, skeleton um, sort of you know slumped over um, and I never really I, I, don't, I don't think I got any response back <laughs> from that cover letter <laughs> believe it or not but wow I'm thinking about that's really dark <laughs> so that's sort of the basis of this one it's funny I have that somewhere too I still have I still have that comic somewhere yeah it is Halloween um and uh trying to get my Halloween costume together um, that's another whole scam that I won't even get <laughs> I won't even get into uh, but I ordered my Halloween costume last week um, I'm waiting for it to arrive but in the meantime I'm like uh, I don't know if it's gonna arrive in time so I had to I had to purchase another one uh, the same one uh, but I think I did it domestically um, and uh, yeah that's fun <laughs> so hopefully it will show up either either tomorrow or Monday that's what I'm hoping <laughs> Skull already looks sick. Uh, well, you know, here's the thing, KT Data. Um, after you do this for a while, like if you do it like a million times, you kind of know already what you need to do. So um, that's it, right? So um, I tell that all the time to my students, to my uh, my freshman uh uh, foundation year students uh, I tell them uh, you know you just got to keep practicing you got to do it over and over again and then you just get better and then you just remember um, you just get better at what you're doing so all right so I like that one two three four layer Merge layers. All right, so we're good with that. Let me start getting some color in on this pup and we can have it happen. Hey, I didn't realize there's so many people here. Hello, everybody. Nice to have you here. Uh, let me check, let me take a break, break here for a second and let me see who's here. Uh, I know Katie Data's here. Um, Kepper is here, Alicidra, Alien Gathering, Commander Root, GoMac54, 9 of 12, Wabbit Magic. Uh, you're all here. Thank you for being here with me. I appreciate it. You're, you're making my day a little bit happier. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, um, Kepper, for the stickers, I should say. And uh, just in general, thank you uh, for, uh, for the subs and everything. You noticed I reset my sub number. It's no longer 30. Um, that was way wrong. <laughs> I knew it was wrong. Um, I only have eight subscribers right now. Uh, probably more, I don't know, probably more than that. So um, we'll see what happens. God, my hair looks terrible. What's going on with that? Uh, um, 
Yeah, you know, Twitch, it's harder and harder for me to... Well, last week was tough because... Um, last week was tough because because the, the Guardians were playing... And I didn't see myself uh, excusing. <laughs> you know, I, I couldn't. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, Max. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks a lot, Kepper. Um, I, uh, I didn't see myself not being distracted by the game while it was going on. So I decided just not to, not to stream. Plus, the other thing, too, that happened was that um, once I started to stream... Um, uh, uh, Hulu like cut off like I couldn't watch anything anymore um, uh, because they probably don't want you to like you know stream a show or something when it's on I get it so I wanted to watch the game I, I you know I made a dis like an executive decision uh, to um, to just to just watch the game <laughs> he does sound sketchy. Uh, so that's what I did. So it's not that I didn't like you guys. I just, I like the Guardians a little bit more. And I knew, the other thing too, is I knew that it was very, um, it'd be tough uh, if we did not win. Um, we had two games coming up next, last weekend. If we won... Uh, it would have been, you know, we would have been going to the ALCS, uh, but we ended up losing. Uh... No, we won the we won the game on Saturday, and then um, and then we lost we lost on Monday or on Tuesday, I should say. Sad, sad, because I wanted them to win. Now, uh, even though I hate the Astros and the Yankees, I'm hoping that the uh, Astros beat the Yankees and then go to the World Series and lose in the World Series. So both of those teams can lose. <laughs> so, um, so let's get some clothes on here. I'm wondering if I should keep the clothes the same color throughout or if I should change them up. Eh, maybe I'll keep them all the same color just to be consistent. Plus it also makes it easier for me to cut and paste the clothes. Gotta look at ways to tighten. Let the digital work for you. That's why I always tell my digital illustration students. Let the digital work for you. If you have a way to make it go easier, then do it. Yeah, there was a lot of really good sports on. Um, we lost. Uh, we lost the game on Sunday, uh, the Guardians game, and then um, we uh, then we the Browns lost, of course. <laughs> that was that was going to be a given, and then uh, and then the Guardians lost again on Tuesday, and then the Cavs lost. Um, uh, they lost um, uh, their their uh, their season opener, which sort of sucked. Um, so it's been a kind of a tough week. It's funny how things change just so quickly um, in sports. You go on, you know, riding high to you know you're not doing anything very well. It's like you've never played the game in your life before.
Yeah, Cleveland. Cleveland had a tough week, sports-wise. And to be honest with you, I don't even think I'm going to be watching the Browns this weekend. They're so bad. So absolutely bad. What the heck? <laughs> I have to... Uh, it's like it's not doing what I wanted to do here. Oops. What the heck? What's this one? Right. What's this one? It's nothing. Hang on. That's messed up. See, it's making me... making me have to do this twice. Boy, is that frustrating. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a good game. I, I mean, no, he, he actually had a really good game. Donovan Mitchell, he had a really good game. Uh, 31 points in the game against, I believe, the Raptors. Um, but it wasn't enough. The Raptors were just a little bit better. Um, layer, merge layers. Okay, so we're gonna start that. Whoops. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do eyes and hair. Maybe I'll make. Okay, that's a good idea. Uh, I think I will do that. Uh, make them more raggy over time. I think I. You know what? Um, I think I'll make them more raggy. Um, I'll make him more raggy. Hey, who is that? Oh, Frankenberry. Nice. Um, I think I'll make him more raggy on the last frame. And I, I got your message about the uh, DTNS stuff there. I have an idea, Kepper, so hang tight. Um, I'll do the best I can. The only thing about this uh, process <laughs> is I, I I do have to rush through this just to make this on time, you know? So that kind of sucks. Oh, I'm s by the way, back, back to this whole... That really threw me off, guys. That whole um, scam email. Man, that threw me off. It was dumb. I haven't told my wife yet. <laughs> I gotta make sure that, you know, she's, I mean, she's gonna, I hope she'll be sympathetic toward me. But, as long as nothing really super bad happened, you know, like I'm just hoping that nothing other, no, you know, like more charges come through and uh, that would be awful. Let me just get this hair here. Coloring takes a long time on these. I think hopefully I will get a real full refund. Um, that's what they said, but how can you trust somebody that just tried to rip you off? Uh, but yeah, but you're right though. Lesson learned. Don't be greedy. Hey, speaking of which, um, there's a show right now on Netflix 
called The Watchers, or The Watcher, I should say. Um, it was recommended to me by my son, uh, Christian, and he uh, he said, oh, you'd probably like it. So we started watching it last night. It is crazy, this story. <laughs> Absolutely bonkers. Um, so long story short, without giving away too much, uh, this couple, upwardly mobile couple, um, get, has an opportunity to buy a dream house, and um, uh, they do. They buy this dream house, and uh, once they move in, uh, they start receiving these letters, very, very um, uh, kind of th semi-threatening letters. Um, awful, really awful stuff. Um, you know, just saying like, I'm the watcher, I'm watching your house. Oh, I see your children. What floor do they sleep on? I can see everything from the street. It was really weird. So anyway, uh, what's even weirder is this whole story is based on a, on a true story. <laughs> this actually happened to a family in New Jersey, uh, Westfield, New Jersey. And uh, awful, really terrible. So the real stories, yeah, The Watchers is good, right? Um, no, Pen Laralta, come on. <laughs> um, all right, let me. Um, I'm gonna tighten this up here. I have not forgotten about the DTNS logo. Um, yeah, The Watchers is really good. It's scary as all get out. Um, just because it happened for real and um, yeah, really, really creepy stuff. Anyhow, um, uh, that led me down a path. Uh, my wife actually knew the story of The Watcher, um, so she was kind of filling me in. So we watched uh, we watched the YouTube video about the original and what happened and stuff like that. Uh, she seemed to think it happened back in the 80s, um, but it happened very recently. Um, it happened in um, 2014. So um, you you know, there's obviously a lot of technology, right, that could be used. Um, uh, so that was that. You know, I thought it was like an older story. So anyway, this led me down uh, a path of another story that my wife knew about, called uh, which was about the Circleville letters which is even creepier, I feel, than the, uh, uh, than the Watcher story. Um, the Circleville letters were all these anonymous letters that were sent uh, to a few people in a town called Circleville, which is in Ohio, uh, threatening, uh, saying, oh no, you know, you, you've, you had a, uh, 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 you, you need to come clean about this, uh, they were sent to this woman. They're like, you need to come clean about your uh, affair you're having. <laughs> Which at the time she wasn't having an affair with a guy. Uh, with I think he was like a school superintendent uh, or something. Anyway, um, there were all these awful things that were, you know, these letters kept coming, these anonymous letters kept coming, accusing these people about some pretty awful stuff. Not only that, but then they started posting billboards, like little like flyers everywhere. <laughs> it was pretty awful. Um, turns out the woman wasn't having an affair, but then she started an affair with the guy after the letters started coming. So, <laughs> so it's like, yeah, what? What's wrong with you? Alright, I am jamming through these, by the way, guys. Check it out. Oh, you know, did I even tell you what my, um... Let me tell you what my costume is. Maybe in the chat, tell me if you're dressing up for Halloween, what are you going to be? Uh, my Halloween costume this year is... I'm going to be uh, an, an Imperial officer from Star Wars. Uh, gray uniform. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, I was sort of um, inspired by Andor. 
which I didn't really like Andor when it first came out. I was like, why do, why do I care about these characters, right? But now, like, the last two episodes, the last two episodes have really kicked it into high gear, and the show's pretty good. Um, one thing I like about the show is that um, it doesn't feel like Star Wars. <laughs> so I don't know if that's a positive, right? I don't, you know, it's just weird. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so, uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's really well written and well paced, I think, um, so that, uh, it doesn't feel like Star Wars at all, which is kind of crazy. Um, so if you haven't seen Andor, check it out. Loading up on the spark plugs. I don't know what you're talking about, KG Data. Ooh, we're at three o'clock. Oh man. Oops. a little bit a little bit crazy um going on there <laughs> so yeah so I've got my um, I've got my um, uh, uh, Star Wars costume on the way um, hey thank you thank you so much whoops making that race small all right uh, Couple, hey, thank you so much. Thank you, that. Thank you for that. Um, let's get some shadow on here. Just give it a little bit of a little bit of, of um, uh, depth, I guess. Let me make this work. Bring the opacity down. Uh, always, this always helps, right? Just when I think you're done, you keep going. Yeah, um, just a little bit here. Um, all right. So, okay. Uh, two. I got to do two more things. Oh, I know what I want to do. Um, let me open up a file here, so you'll see. You'll see a little bit of my workspace. This is for uh, Kepper. <laughs> OK. 
because he never lets me forget. Just hide it once, Kepper. Uh, all right. So that's the first thing, right? Um, let's do this. Okay, so let's do that. And now the next thing I want to do is... Put the words in. Maybe it's not yay, maybe it's hooray. Hooray. If I can make this a little bit smaller. Oops. I think that's, uh, <laughs> I think that might be it. I don't know. What do you think? Hooray. 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 Oh, you know what I want to do? One more thing. While I have a little bit of time, make this even more creepy. Little details, small little details. <laughs> um, where is the joy?
nice. You like it? Good? Everybody like? So this is today's art. Um, it's about technology. Why aren't we uh, excited about technology like we used to be? I don't know if I'm making a statement about it at all, but, um, you know, it's just something. Something. I drew it. Anyway, um, another time for me to talk a little bit about Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Len. Uh, if you become a member of the Patreon, uh, of my Patreon, um, you get, uh, uh, you get access to the DTNS channel on my, uh, discord. Um, and like right now, like I am posting, uh, this art, you can see a screenshot of it, uh, on the discord and, uh, you can see it right there, uh, as it's happening higher, higher, a little bit higher res. Uh, and, uh, it's pretty cool. So check it out. Patreon.com forward slash Len. You get access to the Discord. The uh, DTNS Discord. In any event, thank you so much for being here with me today. Um, uh, I truly appreciate it. Uh, thanks to Kepper for the stickers. Oh, I didn't even realize how close we are to a sticker party again. Thank you so much, Kepper. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for the gift subs. Uh, I'm sure everybody there is going to be very happy for that. I will see you in just a few moments over at Good Day Internet where I will be showing this piece of art off to uh, the world in just a little bit. So make sure you head on over to Good Day Internet and check it out. In the meantime, thanks a lot for being with me here. And I will see you on the next stream probably next Friday. So thanks a lot, everybody. Take care. Mm -hmm.